Hey guys, it's me, Kenny Bowler, with another episode for opening some Pokemon cards. And as always, we got an awesome treat tonight. We got ourselves some Champion's Path. And I know what you're thinking. This is Mod Champ's Path. But believe it or not, I still haven't gotten a Mod Champ. So I'm okay with getting the Mod Champ to get the Champion's Path boxes. So we got really lucky. And again, I want to give a shout out to you know, everyone who's been following me on Twitch, on YouTube, especially on YouTube, because Again, we are blowing up. We, I think I've gotten about like 4,000 views in a week, which is insane. So I want to thank you guys so much for supporting me. Obviously, please like, subscribe, and follow uh, my social media. Again, I'm trying to make as much content as I can because it really helps and motivates me. So it really does. It really does. And if you haven't checked out yet, like there's some good videos I've made. I'm, I recently started making AMVs again because like, you know, it's content. So again, I really appreciate you guys following and joining me tonight with some Pokemon cards, let's go. So without further delay, we got ourselves a special treat, like I said. We got ourselves Champion's Path. So we got two of the Hatterene boxes, these. And basically these boxes, oh yeah, yeah. Thank you so much for joining here, Gran Torino. Here for the kind of the chaos and the good pulls, by the way, good pulls only. So we got ourselves here two of these amazing boxes, okay? So these boxes are really, really, I, I, I want to describe it as kind of rare because Champion's Path for whatever reason isn't, at, it's getting hard to find. I mean, right now, Vivid Voltage, Shining Fates, and of course, the new Battle Styles is out. So a lot of the Champion's Path stuff is kind of like on the DL. And don't get me wrong, it's not as hard to find as like, or not as demanding as Hidden Fates. But I feel like Champion's Path is getting towards that area where it's starting to get harder and harder to find. And these boxes, I mean, they're, they're like, you know, they're not that expensive. They're, they're 20 bucks for four packs. So, nice. Okay, we're good. We're back in. And now the quality is way better now. I had to join on my other Wi-Fi server, so. Okay, okay. All right, guys. So, like I was saying, um, this, this is the Heroin V box. And look how nice and shiny this is. Like that is some like bejeweled pretty kind of stuff here. And again, you got a nice, nice figure, nice whole body form right here, just chilling over here. And then we got two boxes, so it's gonna be a good time opening two boxes. So yeah, Hatterin V, a silent Pokemon with serious power. Hatterin V. <laughs> when you find Hatterin in the Galare region, you won't hear much, but this Pokemon silence speaks louder than words. With its perplexing moves and awesome psychic po type powers, Hatterin V leaves foes weak and confused, then glides away on its own mysterious errands. Get Hatterin V as a playable foil promo card and a fantastic oversized card, and find more surprises in Pokemon TCG, or TCG Champions Path Booster Packs. So again, you get the promo card, you get a foil size oversized card, so one like the big cards, a four packs per box and a code card. So again, for 20 bucks, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. So let's, let's open this guy up and let's see what we get, y'all. Again, this is gonna go on YouTube, so I hope you guys enjoy the content. Okay, Haran V, let's see what you got here today. We can open up, please. Jesus. Christmas, I'm destroying this box. <laughs> Okay. So, it looks like you're missing one of the packs, but it isn't. It's just kind of hidden. It kind of falls out, you know? It's like right in the middle. I I've seen this so many times now, and people are always like sketched out. But it's never really the case though, because usually it's there. It's just, you know, people think. So much for the beauty of the box. I mean, I destroyed that box, okay? I destroyed that box. <laughs> I crushed it, bro. All right, let's go. So right off the bat, the promo card is yes! pretty beautiful. Like you can see the, like the nice sparkles everywhere. You know, it's a full art card, it's a promo. And the hat, you know, I like the hat, obviously. So Hatterin, you, you got a nice fancy hat. And you're apparently really, really silent, so. You know, I guess that's some types for guys nowadays, which is fair. <laughs> and uh, yeah, no, this is not a bad promo. 
card at all. It's pretty. Um, centering's good. It's a little bendy, but I mean, that's fine. It's been like a little box for like a couple months now. So that's fine. And let's put you away for the promo. Nice. That's one promo card right there. And of course, the big one. The big one. These ones are always fun because, you know, like, they're usually just oversized cards. And, I mean, you can see more clearly the art. And, uh, yeah, I you know, it's a little glittering with the camera. I feel sorry about that, but that's okay. And then, nice. Look at that. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. Just a big card. Yeah, Hammer and V. Nice hat. You know, I used to play World of Warcraft, and, like, I play, like, a mage all the time. So, I think it's pretty, uh, pretty cute. Because, you know, mages are cool, and I love mage hats. But here we go. Here's what we want. Here's the five packs, y'all. Sorry, the four packs. I don't know why I said five. It's gonna boop. So you get four amazing champions path packs. You got, uh, you know, you got a little uh, ant eater boy. You got some, you know, nice cake. Ant eater and ant eater. So first pack always. We do it last. Last pack last. So we're gonna open one pack. First pack of the night for the Hatter and V box. Okay. So, and again, this is for my 100, or sorry, 420 subscribers on YouTube. So, again, please check out my YouTube channel. It's amazing. I, I put so much content there. Kenny Boulder. So, first pack of the night. Let's go. Spoilers. I think it's for the front. It's been a while. I haven't done any Champion's Path in a long time. It is awesome. Got it right. All right, first one is going to be energy, psychic energy. You got Kabu, this uh, <laughs> Japanese businessman just chilling here. He's ready to kick some booty. Nice. Then you got a suspicious food tin. We want the we want the uh, gold version of this. That's 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 the pull we want the most. Is the suspicious food tin looks really nice, looks really cool. So that's what we want the most. And again, it's just you know a psychic card with some food tin in it. it looks good sight, good sight. Nothing wrong with it. Vinicini, nice little cute little flying Pokemon, uh, victory Pokemon to be exact, with that V, you know, doing that, you know, you know, the V for victory pose. And I just, that's gorgeous in the background, you know, just, you know, watch shower, some houses over there, some more houses. And he's just flying around, you know, he's just he's a comet. He's going around seeing the whole sky. Uh, you got a Pokeball. A classic Pokeball here, nice. You know, Pokemon, Pokeballs, go hand in hand. You got a Inkay. I haven't seen one of the, I haven't seen these guys in a while. Jeez, I legit have not opened Champion's Path in like months. <laughs> so Inkay out in the forest, just chilling. You know, even though he looks like a water type Pokemon, he's dark. Uh, you got a glaring Zigzagoon. Little cute little dogger, it looks like, even though he's a tiny raccoon Pokemon. But he's 38 pounds, which is pretty heavy for a raccoon in my opinion. I guess some trash raccoons here in the states, they definitely are big chungus boys. Uh, you got ourselves a Trubbish, you know? So the raccoon here, boy, is eating this guy because Trubbish is literally just a pile of trash. He literally is just a trash bag Pokemon with some tentacles in his hands. You know, not bad, nothing wrong with some tentacles, you know, I feel ya. <laughs> it's just a little weird. And you know, some city skylines. Nice overcast skies. I like it. I like it. Pretty cute. You got ourselves a full heal. Uh, you know, you gotta put that stuff on you to when you get, you know, that ni nasty cut. Especially when the Charizard gets, you know, eaten by like a Wilmer, you know, or sorry, Will Lord. You gotta put some full heal. You got a reverse holo. Yes! Machomp. Machomp. Thanks. It's like breaking like the sky. Or, or is this like ground? He's like punching through like ground, I guess. You know, he's like, I'm here to rescue you, or he's here to kill you. Uh, all right, that's a cool reverse art. Not bad, not bad. And our first pull of the night, a yes! holographic Altaria. Nice. Holographic Altaria, classic Pokemon. I think it's Gen 3, so, you know, I, I, I definitely like the last evolution of this guy, because it's like, it's a flat, you know, clouds are cool, dude. I love clouds. So, not bad pull so far. First pack, pull. And the art, 
you know, it's pretty basic. It's just, you know, flower, not flowers, Jesus, clouds around here. So pretty good stuff. Nothing wrong with some clouds out there. So pretty cool. Yeah. That's our first pull of the night, chat. So let's see what else we got here for the night. Let's see here. All right, next pack, pack number two of the night. Champion's Path with an Anteater. Forward to the front, pack number two. I'm here for the bubble swords. Oh yeah, Tori, let's go. Let's go for the bubble swords. I, I mean, I'm gonna get some Zards, I promise, Tori. And hey, Chris, good to see you. Thanks for stopping by, I really appreciate that. So we got energy. We got a Rotom bike, classic bike for all the Pokemon trainers. If you don't have a bike and a trainer, you're not doing it right, okay? You need the bicycle. You need the bicycle, good chat. You need the bicycle. Got a Hyper Potion. Classic CGI right there. It's like really bad CGI. That's like some old school CGI right there. I mean, I, I like it. It's good. Uh, you got Sharpedo. Nice. Sharpedo, Sharknado. The, you know, just flying around this little, you know, Mario-esque Pokemon. About to blow shit up. You know, Sharpedo's scary. Not gonna lie. Sharks are very terrifying. Uh, Swablu, nice. We just got, you know, his evolution, Alteria, so Swablu's cool. Got the rainbow in the background, two wings going across this Animal Cross kind of style ditch, you know? So not bad, you know? I definitely want would catch that guy with a net, that's for sure. You got uh, Scraggy, you know, two Scraggy, actually three Scraggies, you know? Three Scraggies for the price of one. Little Pokemon, you know, I, I always think he's like stealing some food or something, so. That's his legs and his, you know, feet. You got a Carvana, nice. Classic little, you know, Japanese art with like the waves. Got some thunder in the background. This little guy floating around, having a good time. Nice Carvana, very cool. And yeah, I mean, it's a savage Pokemon, bro. Savage, savage. What a savage Pokemon, guys. It actually is pretty good, just a little bit. Got a savage Pokemon. You got a Galarian Zigzagoon again with a nice tail out there and it's nice tongue. Uh, Kakuna, nice! Oh, OG Pokemon, Gen 1. So, Kakuna on the tree, when to become a fucking wasp or a bee, you know? Like, it's terrifying. He's just chilling, you know? Cocoon Pokemon, having a good time. So, classic Pokemon, that's right. Classic old school Pokemon. You got a reverse yes! holo, Sharpedo. So, reverse holo, nice. Got all the cool aqua energy got that mad energy and got that ballistic missile flying around about to hit someone and blow some stuff up so cool stuff but last but not least you got a holographic yes! professor's research professor miogla mongolia magnolia there you go magnolia that's the word so you got a nice professor here with her cane a nice house in the background and as a reminder Art trainer cards, always worth more if they're holographic. If it's a rainbow holographic, worth a lot of money. Cause usually waifus. Though this ain't really a waifu unless you're into grandmas. So I guess, you know, gilfs? Eh. Gilfs are a thing, right? And then, yeah. Discard your hand, draw seven cards, you know? I'm sure it's worth a little bit more cause it's a, I feel like it's an OP card. All right, two packs left guys. So pack number four. <laughs> Oh my god, freedom all the way, freedom all the way. But why? Gosh. I don't make the fetishes here, y'all. I just I just open cards. Another anteater pack here. This anteater is gonna show us some stuff. He's digging himself in a deeper hole. That's a lie, guys. I do not dig myself in a hole. I'm just gonna edit it out anyway, so it's all good. Let's go. Pack number three of the night chat. Yo, what's up, Monty? Thanks for joining by. I like the ninja. All right, we got ourselves a energy. We got hyper energy with a classic old school computer science kind of lab. Sharpedo again. Suspicious food tin. Why is it suspicious? It's because there's an eye on there. Oh, I love you guys too, fam. I love, I love you. I love you so much. Uh, you got Inkay again. You know, cute little little bug Pokemon. <laughs> this is sus. You're sus. Uh, Glarian Zigzagoon with the tongue. 
and then a Trubbish, you know, oh, well, another, another back and forth. We had like, this is the second time we had a raccoon with a, some trash. I guess all rash, you know, trash pandas are really uh, trashy, so. Full heal, if you love us, bend the card. I'm not gonna bend any cards. I'll, 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 I'll bend, uh, I'm not gonna bend any cards. Uh, full heal over here, fam. Oh, ooh, ooh, full heal, yeah. I gotta spray that full heal on me because I ain't gonna bend no cards here, chat. Uh, you got a sizzlepeed. Nice little little guy, you know, a little sizzling over here. I don't know why he's so sizzle. Like he's just like a little cobra. Oh wait, he's a he's a radiator Pokemon. Okay, radiator. Okay, you no, know, not bad. Radiator Pokemon with a little triangle Triforce on your forehead. Actually, no, Triforce is just three. So this is a piece of the Triforce. A piece of the Triforce. Oh, smokes! We're at 11 viewers. Hey guys, I'm Kenny Boulder. Please. If you're watching, please consider following or su subbing me on uh, YouTube. So, uh, Kenny Boulder, I make a lot of content Pokemon. This is my 420 special, so I'm making, uh, I think I hit, I'm gonna hit 420 subscribers on YouTube, so this is my thing. I would absolutely eat a Sizzle P to survive. I would eat this thing. I would eat him to survive. I would eat, I would eat it. Yes. Yes, I would eat it, Monty. Next is gonna be a reverse yes! holo, Machamp. Uh, I see why now everyone thinks this is the Machamp, uh, Cha Machamp's path. Cause here's our first Machamp of the night, reverse holo. Usually these are more hollows. You get a lot more hollows of the Machamps, but this is my first reverse holo Machamp though. And this guy, he's buff. He has four arms. He has a, you know, a title and he's punching like a mad lad. So look at this badass. <laughs> Machamp, hell yeah. And if you're wondering when I open Pokemon cards, usually Wednesdays only at 8 p.m. Mountain Time. But lately I've been opening them because I've been hitting a lot of goals I've been setting. 420, 350. Like please, please consider again following me. If you follow, you watch, I'll make more Pokemon videos for sure. So last but not least is a, another holographic Alteria. Yes! Interesting. I've gotten three holes in one uh, box. That's so weird, actually. Three holes in one box. No Alteria with the with the clouds. That's two of them. Two of these angel fellas. And again, we had just gotten a professor's research. So we've got three holes in one box. That's not that's good. Usually you don't get holes as often as that. So interesting, interesting. Okay, chat. Last pack of the box. Okay, pack number four. We got Ant Eater box here. Or Ant Eater pack. Sorry. Let's open it up. Let's see what we get in here. Is that Professor Joe? No, that's Professor uh, Magnolia. Professor Magnolia is here, and she's uh, you know, she's old. She's Professor Oak's uh, bay. <laughs> All right, pack number four of the night, chat. Four to the front. Water energy. Another Vincentini over in the sky, pretty cool. Okay, my power search, dang. Oh, hopefully, this is a good pack then, y'all. Tori, this pack's for you, fam. <laughs> She's too old. <laughs> She's too old, goddammit. Got a Machoke, hell yeah, okay. So we got a Machop. Machoke and Machamp. And this guy, he is, he is buff. He is swole, look at that. This guy can like, choke you out, fam. He's like, get over here, you know what I mean? So, he's not gonna mess you uh, out. <laughs> okay, let's go, let's go. Next is gonna be a Kabu again. Nice little dude just hanging out, playing Frisbee or some shit. Uh, Nickit, little nice fox Pokemon. I like the art just because the flowers and you know, the kind of like the outdoors aesthetic. I miss that so much. Another trash bin. Hanino, okay, okay. We haven't, you know, we got a calm Pokemon. If I saw this, I'd definitely be calm. Like, look at that smile. Though the hair, that's like hentai protagonist haircut right there. Anything that covers your eyes, you know, you're, you're, you're a protagonist of a hentai, okay? So you're definitely a calming, weird Pokemon with the hat. And again, the art, the art background, I love it. I love it. 
trees, the, the branches, you know, it's just a chill little hentai protagonist hanging out. Steven Universe Sapphire, hell yeah it does. That's actually what it reminds me of, Tori. Thank you for saying that. Uh, Rook Ruff, little puppy. Literally says puppy Pokemon. Uh, he's just like looking for some trails that he's like, oh, these tracks, man. This is where the Pikachus are at. I got, I got to find the Pikachu. And that, those, these are some hyper, hyper realistic plants right here. Like, look at that. Those are like some hyper realistic plants. And this dog is looking for that. I think it's wearing a collar too, maybe. So pretty cool. Uh, next is going to be a potion, potion seller. I desire your strongest potions. You can't handle my strongest potions. It would kill you. Uh, I mean, hey, puppy types are cool though, Tori. Puppy types are cool types. No, no, no judging here, fam. No judging. All right, next is going to be a reverse hollow. Yes! Car Carvana. Carvina. Carvana. Yeah, Carvana. And reverse hollow's pretty. But last but not least, last card here. Yamper is voiced by Bubble Stars VA. That's awesome. Well, hopefully we get a Bubble Star. But I actually, I don't think there's any Bubble Stars in Champions Path though, Tori. So I'm sorry. Uh, yes. Oh, a holographic Machamp. Okay. Okay. Let's go. Uh, I can't. I don't know how to braid my hair. So guys, this is crazy. We got four Hollows in one box. Four Hollows. In one box. And that is pretty alright. Absolutely. I don't know how to braid my hair. I can only do the ponytail. So Mana, you're gonna, you're gonna have to come over and help me braid my hair. So we have four hollows in one box. That's actually crazy good pulls. Like, they're not fancy hollows, but they're hollows. You normally don't get hollows like that. I mean, braiding is totally hard. Absolutely. Absolutely. Alright. That's okay, chat. We have another box to open. So we have one more box to open. Four packs. Yeah, imagine bra bra braiding my hair, okay? It's gonna be awful. It'll be impossible to braid my hair. Imagine. This beautiful, I'm getting a haircut soon, by the way. Yo, what's up, Lightspeed35? Thanks for joining in, fam. Really appreciate it. How is it, how's it going? You're joining in some Pokemon unpacking right now. So I appreciate you stopping by. Oh my god, I can't open this shit. Boop! Alright, there we go. Alright, we have box number four. And again, we are opening Champion's Path. So thanks for joining, chat. Welcome to Kenny Boulder's stream. How, how's your day going, fam? Has anyone else gotten a vaccine yet? Because I've gotten a vaccine. Alright, next up. All right, chat, we're opening the next box. Again, you get one promo card. This guy right here, a Hakuina yes! V. And it's pretty cool. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm glad you, you're, you're here joining by. Thank you so much for stopping by. If that's, uh, oh, my arm feels crazy. Holy smokes, guys. My arm, like the day after I got my vaccine, I felt awful. And, oh my god, is that you? Oh, I'm not going to say your name, but I definitely know who you are. You're definitely the guy that I met at Target. So I'm glad you're joining by. Thank you again for stopping by, Lightspeed. My arm feels good. So this is Hatteran and V, and again, the hat's awesome. I love, I, you know, I play a wizard characters usually and back in my WoW days. Mages, if you want to be technical, but my mage wore a hat. And this hat reminds me, this Hatteran and V reminds me of my original WoW character, Kelsis. So... I miss you, Kelsis. You're a great wizard of the Corin Tor. And then you got yourselves a giant here Hatteran V box. Little not box, little little, little giant sized card that fits your face, so it's pretty big. It's pretty fucking big. And you get four packs. Four packs. Four packs here tonight, guys. You got four packs of the champion's fate path and chat if you don't know yet uh target is implementing 8 a.m only uh to get pokemon cards now walmart i don't know they restock whenever they restock whenever so it is crazy wizard, wizard email we got wizard email already it's all good um 
Oh my god, Paranoia is a, such a crazy game. Uh, it's a spooky game. It's a spooky game, that's what it is. So it's a spooky game. But chat, chat. 8 a.m. Target. If you're there, you gotta be there early. You gotta be there hella early. Like hella early. early. I got there at like at 7.15. And I barely got cards. I barely got cards. In fact, um, if you haven't checked it, I made a video about getting Pokemon cards at this Walmart, and it was insane. It's so crazy. It's so fucking crazy. So, uh... It's a crazy link. This is my Walmart venture. I just posted in the chat. Walmart venture. It's crazy. Literally, 13 guys and me were, like, brawling over Pokemon cards at Walmart. It was insane. Yeah, yeah, light speed. Some guy, the guys in front of us, like they're major scalpers. Okay, they buy everything. They buy, they buy sports cards. They buy Pokemon cards. Like these scalpers, they buy these cards to sell to other people. And they got there. I shit you not. They got there at three in the morning. Those scalpers got there at three in the morning to buy Pokemon cards and, and sports cards. And I'm glad I gifted my nephews my Pokemon. Oh my god. Yeah, no, uh, Tori, I'm, 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 I'm happy for you. But you should give it to, give it to me, though. No, I'm kidding. Uh, I still have my Pokemon cards when I was a kid. In fact, uh, here, let me show you off my Charizard. I mean, they ruined it. They ruined it for collectors, for real. Tori, Tori, you'll appreciate this. Tori, check this out. Check this out, fam. Look at that. That's an original Charizard. It's a little worn out because obviously I've had this since I was like fucking eight. But like, that's an original Charizard card. 1999. Dang, you should steal your binders. Take it back. Look at that. And again, an original Charizard card. Mine, my collection, my private collection, this is it. I got this when I was a kid. So, I, I've been collecting Pokemon cards since I was a kid. So, it's crazy that I still have this. And my other Holy Grail card, my Lugia, Japanese Lugia. So, this Japanese Lugia is, like, it's it's okay. It's a little damaged as well. It's not PSA 10, obviously. But, oh, that Mew card is an incredible, incredible card. And then, yeah, look at that. So Japanese cards are unique. They change it up though, but yeah. This is a 1996 Pokemon card right here. The Lugia card. So, it's pretty cool. Um, some of these can go a lot of money, but yeah. I mean, yeah, guys, for real. Keep your Pokemon cards. Keep them. That's a Japanese Venus Store, that's an awesome card. That's an awesome card. And yes, Charizards are always char are card chasers. So like, it sucks that's gone this crazy. It sucks so much. And I feel so bad for all the collectors, you know, that all the chase cards are Charizards. And I don't care about Charizards, believe it or not. I'm an Umbreon guy. My favorite Pokemon is Umbreon. A shiny Umbreon, cause you know, it looks cool. So yeah, no, for real. All right, chat, we're gonna open some more cards now. All right, hey uh, guys, so we got ourselves another box here for and first pack magic, we're gonna save it for last. And again, put these hollows over here, and these are our packs. Yeah, first cake, cake pack. So, we're gonna put this guy away. Pack number five of the nine, first one in the box. So, four to the front. All right, you got energy. Yeah, Pokemon Center Lady, okay. You know, oh my god, Zards are hard to get, y'all. Zards are hard to get. They're always hard to get. Uh, Pokemon Center Lady, that's Nurse Joy, okay? Her name is Nurse Joy. And she's a joyful nurse. Who has like a billion twins and cousins and family members all over the world. Who run a family-owned empire of healthcare. Literally, Nurse Joy is basically the... <laughs> they're just like the... <laughs> the monopoly of all the healthcare in Pokemon. We love Nurse Joy. We love Nurse Joy. We got Hop, 
a trainer throwing a Pokeball, you know? And again, I will say this, I'm glad that Pokemon has embraced diversity. Like, I'm glad I can see, you know, kids who are brown, black, you know, just because it's good. It's good to see that diversity in the Pokemon now, because a lot of fans aren't just white and Asian. Uh, another one's another Vinatini, Vinatini, with the V victory sign, ooh, ooh. Oh, it's so cringe. Uh, nice cute little Pokemon, victory Pokemon. Got another Nickit, little fox Pokemon. Got Ekans, look at this Ekans. Ekans. Oh my god, he is terrifying. Did you know Ekans backwards is snake? Gotcha fam, I gotcha. E Ekans backward, backwards is snake. And this Ekans is terrifying. He's like, rah! You know, terrifying snake Pokemon. Another Carvana. We got ourselves a Swablu again, floating around Animal Crossing land. We got Vulpix, nice. Classic Gen 1 Pokemon, the original Fox Pokemon, mind you. So, Vulpix is so cute. Like, I know Brock's had a Vulpix for so long, and it's so fucking cute. It is ridiculously cute. I love Vulpix. Vulpix is like another, like, easily top, top 20, top 30 Pokemon that I have. And the art's beautiful, like, you know, the flowers, the little grass, the background with, like, the weird shit and the lights, like, it's so cute. A hollow, yes! reverse hollow great ball, nice. Reverse hollow great ball. Very, very cute, very, very cute. And let me close the door, because I can. Uh, reverse hollow great ball here, and it's, like, about to open, you know, it's about to open something magical. You know, like, I know some people back in the day when they played Pokemon, they would like color code Pokeballs like Pokemon. And I'm like, can you imagine trying to capture Kyogre and Pokemon Sapphire with a Great Ball? That would suck so much. You would throw so many Great Balls. So many Great Balls at Kyogre. All right, next is gonna be, last but not least, a holographic Linelax. Yes! A little wolf Pokemon, nice. So Rockruff becomes a Wolfy. Nice, not bad, not bad. Another hollow too, so we're getting more hollows. This is our fifth hollow in the night. That's actually kind of wild. So, you know, the, the hollows for these are very rainbowy. You can kind of see it. And, you know, two giant rocks. And fun fact, last year, the great state of Colorado reintroduced wolves to back to our state. So maybe a lion rock will be roaming around the, the Rocky Mountains with her pack mates. So nice. Pack number six, y'all. Nice giant cake. Pack number six, y'all. With a nice giant big cake here. Soft Pokemon. Yes, I love soft Pokemon. Soft Pokemon, Q Pokemon. I love soft and Q Pokemon. All right, forward to the front. All right, we got Psychic Energy. We got Milo, you, you thick low. This guy's face does not fit this body, okay? This guy's face looks like he's like a like a, a preschooler, you know? And this body's like, holy jacking body. Oh my goodness. Milo, son. And again, the art, you know, he's just chilling on the trail. He's like, yo, kids, you want a Pokemon battle? Or he's, he probably like, sounds like a, a high schooler. Hey, guys, you want to do a Pokemon battle? Just like, yeah, this buff dude. Like a high switch most Milo Himbo, Milo Himbo. You got a Rotom phone. You got a little you got an iPhone. Look at this iPhone right here. Yeah, never heard of him. Neither have I, honestly. A uh, Rotom phone. You know, like it's just a cute little phone. He's like, hi, hi. I think it's cute. You know, it's like the, the electricity, the power. You know, like it, it's just a cool Pokedex phone. You know, like everyone has a phone nowadays. And I remember, like, you know, yeah, phones are cool. Got a turf field stadium. Nice. It's kind of like a weird field, but hey, can't really complain you know, on the budget. I feel like stadiums are really like expensive, you know? So it's okay to have a, a cheap stadium. Yeah, a potion, a little one. Nice little potion. Potion seller. Another potion. Two potions in a row. Potion seller. I need your strongest potions. There's going to be another potion. I'm just going to lose my shit. Pokeball, okay, I'm getting all the trainer cards. This is all, this pack is literally just all trainer cards. I've gotten only trainer cards so far. So, another trainer card. 
All right, Carvey, Carvey, no, okay, not bad, not bad. Not nah, trainer card, trainer card. Ekans, okay, okay, Ekans. A yes! holographic energy. That's so crazy, look at that. A fire energy card. This is worth at least $5, by the way, guaranteed, because uh, fire hollows are really kind of, they're kind of rare. Yeah, they're, I mean, they're rare-ish. They're, they're secret rares, technically. And a lot of people like them because they use them for the game. For Pokemon trade or Pokemon the you know game itself, so uh, not a bad pull, not a bad pull. It's nice energy. It's pretty cool, very glossy. And last but not least, I know it looks so cool. It looks so lit. That's right, lit because it's a fire. It's so lit, bro. This card's so lit. You got a holographic yes! hater. Oh my god, Hatterene. Look at that, another holographic. Each pack has been a holographic, and this one is another holographic too. So, our pull rates are very fucking nice tonight, actually. We've got a holographic every pack so far. And again, I mean, we already got another a Hatterene, but this is a V. So this one's just a regular holo. Wizard boy! Yeah, witch girl! Look at this little witch girl. It's like a snowman witch, you know? Like, it's so cute. Nice, nice. So we have two packs left, y'all. Two packs left. Okay, two packs for the night. Second pack, oh, this is pack number seven. With our big tortoise boy. He looks so cute, he looks so cute. All right, turtle pack, let's go. Come on, turtle pack, give us something good. Something real good, please, let's go. All right, turtle pack, turtle pack, turtle pack. Forward to the front. And you got a water energy. Got Arbok, classic Arbok right here with the little. <laughs> wow, look at that. I like turtles too. I love turtles. I love turtles and I love tortoises. They're my favorite animal, besides the red panda, of course. Um, Arbok is actually backwards for cobra, fun fact. And it's spewing like this fucking toxic gas of like just death. I've never seen an Arbok. Like, I would assume they would bite it, but like never like flamethrow, like it's poison. It's so weird. Arbok is terrifying, because snakes are terrifying, just saying. You got another hop again, we'll throw in the little Pokeball. Got a, a phone boy. Got a Pokeball. Carve it out again, a little fish boy. You got Ekans with our Arbok, nice. You got a little seconds. I've got Japanese Arbok and gives me my nightmares as a child. I, absolutely, like spiders, snakes, like anything with like more than like four limbs or no limbs, terrifying. And actually, I do like Unagi, because I love eating Unagi. That's eel, so it doesn't really count. Got a hyper-realistic Weedle. Like, look at this. It's like just like a toy in like some grass. And I love it so much. These hyper-realistic Weedles are so fucking cool. They're always so cool. He looks so happy. He's just like, oh, not happy. He looks so like determined, you know? He's so determined. He looks so cute. He's like, I'm gonna climb this guy. I'm gonna be a badass today. You know, I'm not a fan of what you become because, you know, I hate uh, bees, not bees, hornets. But Weedle, you're pretty cool. You got a Galarian Linoe. Look at that terrifying mouth. Holy, it's like, it's like a demon thing. Like something straight out of like Stitch, you know? Lilo and Stitch is like, yeah, hey! It's like an evil little Stitch right here. If Stitch was like, you know, shaded black, that's, that's what Stitch would look like. So, terrifying little, I don't know, weasel Pokemon. Yes! A reverse hollow trainer card. Nice. Hop again with a Pokeball. You know, that's pretty cool. Diversity is our strength, you know? I respect that. I like this. I like this guy. He's a pretty cool kid with some pretty cool hair, too. And last but not least is a holographic yes! Strapsy. Another hollow. Guys, we've gotten a hollow every pack tonight so far. And this Scrafty is like wearing like pants. He looks so. He looks so scuffed, dude. He looks so scuffed. He looks so scuffed. He looks like he's like trying to escape like the, the house. Running away from a fire, you know what I mean? With his little pants and shit. Oh my god. He looks so weird. He's like, gotta get out of here. Again, the art's beautiful. The, you know, street light, the fountain, like this guy. Whoever made this pull out hood. Or sorry, not hood. This He's a hoodlum. But pull out love in this, you know, card. 
So this is a hoodlum Pokemon, I guess. So not sure, not sure why he's a hoodlum, but okay. You know, sometimes Pokemon be like that. All right, last pack of the night, guys. Last pack. Last pack of the night. Let's go. One last pack live with our Toro boy. Toro boy, and we got one pack left. All right, forward to the front. Send me that last pack magic. You got electric energy. Suspicious food tin energy. Melmar, look at this thing. This is a terrifying little like Ursula from like, you know, uh, Little Mermaid, you know what I mean? Skull buffs? Or Skull Warriors? Uh, yeah, I know, this is an interesting little Pokemon. Overturning Pokemon, that's terrifying. Can you imagine like walking around, you know, the beach and suddenly you see like this <laughs> Melamar, Melamar, you know, like that'd be terrifying if I saw Melamar just come and ran at me. I'd like freak out and just like run. Uh, you got Great Ball, nice. Carv Carvana, Swablu, Vulpix, very cute. I love you, Vulpix, you're the best. Uh, trash, literally trash. Roly Poly. No, kidding. Uh, Roly Coly. You're a coal Pokemon. Even though in this society, in this time, we're trying to, you know, we're trying to get to renewables right now, my guy. So I don't know why this Roly Coly is just trying to ruin our, our positive vibes by being coal. I mean, I'm sorry. You're coal. You're literally killing the planet. You're made, you're made of vegetarian, you know, you're made of like Cobbadox and stuff like that. He's made of like, you know, grass and shit. Yeah, a reverse hollow V drill with that nice pointy. Look at that pointiness. Terrifying. Fucking terrifying. Seeing that like scares me. Cause I know it's like spring, you know, a lot of places. And spring there's usually a lot of like bugs, and I hate bugs. Yes! Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gen 1 right here. That's right. B drill's a gen 1. Let's go. Stab me down. I'm not gonna no. Uh-uh. No uh. Hell nah. Last pack, last pack, or sorry, last card of the night. Last card of the night, y'all, let's go. Another yes! holographic hatchery. We've gotten holographics. Every single pack we've opened has been a hollow. Every single pack. These are all, we've opened eight packs and we got eight hollows. We got two of these guys. Two of these guys. One Scra Scrafty, one Lion Rock, and one Machamp, and then one Professor's Research. So we've gotten every single card we pulled has been a hollow. And that's pretty good. Because, you know, like, here, well, we'll go to the webcam version real quick. Every single card we get is gonna go somewhere. Either I'm gonna collect it in my, in, in my, in my collector collections, or I'm gonna give it to charity, and I will. I will. Uh, my pledge is that I'm not gonna resell, you know, these cards. I'm gonna give most of them to charity. Um, there's gonna be a special soon where I'm gonna literally get all my cards, put them in a bunch of boxes, you know, put them in my tins, put in the portfolios I got from Target, and then give it to kids. I'm gonna go to like Children's Hospital or somewhere like nearby and just give it to kids, because the honest truth is that it's hard to get Pokemon cards unless you are literally. A scalper or me who's crazy because again it's impossible to get Pokemon cards I've said so many times before but like going out and literally going in line it's only adults the kids are the ones who are really getting screwed over by trying to get Pokemon cards so and yes I spent a lot of money I spent way too much money for my own good to get these Pokemon cards but uh, I really appreciate your support, chat. So I know if you just joined, I'm so sorry. You have to tune in on Wednesdays. Every Wednesday at 8 p.m. Mountain Time, I open Pokemon cards. And I'm open a lot. Wednesday, we're going to open some Hidden Fates. Because we got some Hidden Fates finally. So please check out Wednesday night. We're opening some Hidden Fates. So chat, thank you so much again. I'm Kenny Boulder. Please, please, please consider following me on Twitch, YouTube. I even have a TikTok now. And again, I really appreciate your support. It means a lot. When you're watching, when you're liking my videos, I and if you comment my videos, I will like it. I see everything. 
Because I'm a, I'm a small YouTuber. I only got 400. This is literally my 420 subscriber. So I really appreciate it. And I will definitely do a Fortnite dance. I will do a, uh, I'll do a Fortnite dance right now. So there you go. Fortnite dance. So I'm Kenny Boulder. Thanks for stopping by, guys. Have a great night. So take care. And again, stay tuned for more content.